Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly denoise your videos with Handbrake. Before that I'm going to talk you about some other alternatives to Handbrake and how they compare. If you are just interested in denoising your video, just go to this minute in the video to see that part. Right now the clip that you are seeing from me is denoised with Handbrake and this is the original clip and as you can see it is really noisy and this will cause a lot of problems for example when you are doing a chroma key. I got red walls, I don't have a lot of space to put some lights and I cannot afford expensive camera. So basically my best alternative is software denoising. And I'm going to tell you about the tools that I've tried to denoise my videos. About a year ago I bought a pack of plugins for HitFilm Express. The price was about 20 bucks and it included a denoiser. With this denoiser you had to import your clip, you had to select an area of a sample from your video and you got a bunch of sliders to adjust the denoiser. And you were also able to choose the amount of frames that you are going to use as a sample. The most frames that you use the most the render time is going to go up. To compare the tools, I use a video of one minute with a green curtain behind me. This is the result of denoising that video with HitFilm Express with only one frame as a sample. The total amount of time that it took to render this was one minute and 30 seconds about that. And the quality is not that good, there is a lot of linking and a lot of noise remains in the video. Here's the same video, again the noise with heat film, but this time I've used 8 frames as a sample. It looks a lot better, there is still a little bit of noise here and there. The biggest downside of this denoiser is that it took heat film express 30 minutes and 18 seconds to render this 1 minute video. And that is basically useless if you were to have a 10 minute video you will need 300 minutes and that's about 5 hours of rendering and it is not really useful really. The other tool that I've used to test the noiser is Neat Video. I've used a uh, old version of this tool so I'm sure the newer versions perform better. The biggest problem of this software is that it will cost you a lot more. It is 130 bucks for the commercial version. The quality is a little bit better than the denoiser of heat film and the speed is better, it's not that good. It took 7 minutes to render this 1 minute video and you still need to select an area as a sample and the amount of frames that you want to use as a sample. And now let's finally compare those tools to Handbrake. Alright, behind me you are seeing the denoiser video with Handbrake. If we take into account only the quality, I will say that this one is the best one. Apart from that, there's also some other uh, advantages that Handbrake has over the other tools. Well, first of all, is of course free. You can also encode your video and apply filters directly there. And let's see what else I have here on the script. And also you don't need to select any area as a sample. And the best part of Handbrake is that it took 30 seconds to render this one minute video. So that is actually faster than real time and it is without a doubt a lot faster than the other two tools. If you want to support the channel please consider getting one of my courses. With the link down below you can get two premium months of Skillshare for free. This will give you full access to all classes on Skillshare including mine. My hand-painted textures course teaches you from scratch how to create beautiful stylized textures. We start from learning the software to creating brushes, defining a workflow and working with references. At the end of the course you will also learn how to convert your texture to a PVR material. You can also get the course in Udemy for permanent access. Link down in the description, thanks. So at the end it seems like Handbrake is cheaper, faster 
has a really nice quality or the best quality of those two tools and it is easier to use. So let's go ahead and see how we can quickly denoise our videos with Handbrake. Alright, so once you download Handbrake, you will have a link in the description, you install it, you open Handbrake, you will have this screen. You need to select the video that you want to denoise, in my case a file. And I have this test video that I recorded of me drinking a little bit of water. And this is, of course, an extreme case of noise. So, first of all, Handbrake is used to encode, so it will most likely compress your video. If you simply want to denoise without affecting the quality of your video, you can go to Presets, Production, and Production Max, right? This won't affect the quality of your video. Right. To denoise your video, we are going to go to filters. We come here to denoise and you will choose HQDN 3D. This one is slower and it doesn't seem to be any better. So I choose this one. Some time ago, I used strong as a preset, but I started using my own code. So you can come to custom right and the one that i use is this one i will leave you a link in the description and i'm going to explain you a little bit what this is so in this algorithm you have two kinds of denoiser right so you have the spatial denoise which is kind of like a blur if you abuse this denoiser it will look a little bit blurry you will lose you will lose a lot of details and you have the temporal denoise. This is a little bit better quality, but if you abuse this method, you will have a lot of ghosting. So if you have a lot of movement, don't increase this number a lot. The strong prefab, sorry, the strong preset has seven on the spatial and seven on the temporal. My custom presets only increases the spatial denoiser to 10. So you have three per type of denoise. So you have three for the spatial and three for the temporal. You should put the same number in all of them. I will leave you a link in the description also, which explains this algorithm in depth. All right, but there is that. Now let's say that you want to sharpen also your video. So you can go to sharpen, lab sharp, and the preset that I use is medium. And that's basically it. If you have a video with multiple tracks, you will have to come to audio, add track, add all remaining tracks. And this will add all the tracks that are in your original video. All right, so that's basically it. You can also save a preset if you plan on denoising a lot of videos. So let's say my denoiser, and you can record it on your custom category, like mine, for example, All right? You add it and here you have it. Perfect. Now save as, you select the folder that you wanna use, you know, you set, and you click start encode. And it's done. Here's the denoise video. And if we compare it with the original, you can see that it has improved a lot. And yes, I'm sure that it's all that I need to tell you. I'm pretty sure that this tool also works for 3D rendering. So if you're working with an animation, you might want to try this method to denoise your animations. All right, so see you in the next video.